It is the one place where you walk into as a player and as a spectator, and you immediately feel the weight of history, its culture and its traditions. Every single day is different. This is what makes this job so fabulous. Even ex-players, when they come back on, on events and they go up into the dressing room, you can see that look on their face that, that says, whoa, I remember that. There's just something different about Lords. It's just got that, that kind of eerie mystique about it as well, that you know that so much has gone before you. The pavilion here at Lords has been here since 1890. It's the oldest and most iconic building on the ground. Perhaps it's the most iconic building in cricket, maybe even in sports. And really it's the focal point of the heritage and what makes Lords the home of cricket. We also have a, a fabulous collection of cricket memorabilia reflecting the full history and culture of the game. One of our most significant items is the original Men's Cricket World Cup that was contested here in 1975, 1979 and 1983. Of course the West Indies won those first two tournaments but famously in 1983 India won in a match that really sparked the massive interest that there is for one day cricket on the Indian subcontinent today. Some of the most significant moments in my cricketing career have been closely connected to Lords. From being invited to deliver the Cowdery Lecture to my first Test 100 here in 2014. Yeah, look, I got close to being on the Honours Board a couple of times. I got a 96 and a 97, the 96 when I was um, very young, I think it was 2004. To be honest, I still kind of pinch myself of how lucky I am to be able to work here, to be honest. It's an absolute joy and an absolute pleasure. I never really used to eat when I'd play uh, cricket, but um, there was times where you'd make the exception at Lords because of the of the quality of it. We are very much foodies here at Lords. It's all about the food and drink and the the experience that you have coming to watch the cricket. If I went back there now and I got the opportunity, I think I'd probably climb in. We are just passing through in our time as cricketers and. And there's been many great players that have walked through the long room who have sat in those change rooms and played out on that field. And you're just one of those guys and then there'll be great players in the future as well that get that opportunity. The World Cup final will be a huge day in the history of Lords. It'll be our fifth men's World Cup final. We're all geared up for the, the big occasions at this ground. We're always ready. This, I'm sure, will be another one to remember. The MCC and Lords, simply put, is the best cricket club in the world. It is the guardian of the laws of the game it is the guardian of the spirit of the game. It is the very bedrock of the sport that we love and play.